Hello Team Sagittarius, it's Empire333 here. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Sagittarius, this is your love tarot reading plus we have a coffee cup reading too. So we'll be doing tarot and coffee today. And yeah, uh, this will not have an extended, but if you're interested in a personal reading, that information is down below. Okay, so let's get into it. I'll be pulling an uh, oracle card just to tap into the energies and then we'll be getting into each person's energy whoever you're dealing with and then we'll go into the cup coffee cup reading and then um yeah we'll pick up on intuitive messages so spirit what would you like sagittarius to know right now what energies are they dealing with so sagittarius i'm feeling that um, some old past wounds are coming up at this time, so it's important that you work through your fears, is what I'm hearing. The energy is gaining momentum, okay? So let's see what that's about. You are good enough. Okay, so some, so some self-worth issues are coming up at this time, but they're coming up in order for you to um, work on them and heal those possibly insecurities that you have such okay because this is about what you deserve and um some of you need to like literally write it down okay like what you think you deserve and believe that you deserve that okay so you are good enough so some of you might be feeling like okay maybe i don't deserve that partnership that i want maybe i don't deserve that money or whatever it is for you Sagittarius okay so let's see further what energies you're in when it comes to romance let's see for my Sagittarius okay yeah wow there's a lot of cards coming out okay this is interesting. So some of you are stuck in your head when it comes to making a choice. It possibly could be speaking out to somebody or um, what's the word for it? Uh, I lost the word I'm looking for. Confronting someone. Thank you, spirit. Confronting someone. Okay, so you might have to speak up to somebody it could be this person that you are dealing with Sagittarius, okay? So maybe you want to write them a message if you're not communicating with them. I do see that you, okay, this is what I want to say, okay? Something around this new moon that's coming up is going to be very significant for you, Sag. I think the full moon, I mean, the new moon is, oh, it should be coming up right? Maybe the end of the month. I think the 20, if I'm not mistaken, 27, 28. I don't know. Okay. So look up when the new moon is because you're getting rid of all those, uh, um, <clears throat> those thoughts that are wasting your energy and they're stressing you out. Okay. This could also be fears. So make sure to work on that. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to see what the person that is dealing with you, how they feel, okay? What's going on with the person's spirit when it comes to Sag, Sag's person? Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, so your person, whoever this is, is holding you back. This wanted to come out, so I'm just going to take it. This is very interesting. So, um... This person, whoever they are, I feel like what they do is very passive aggressive is what I'm getting. Okay, so this person could have been passive aggressive in the past. They are holding back. This person's heart is closed up. Okay, whoever they are, their heart center is closed up. I feel like they're holding back, but even at the same time, they are looking at you. Their view is on you, Sagittarius. So even if this person's not communicating with you or you guys are not seeing each other, this person's got their eye on you, okay? And I feel like, you know, um, you could have stopped talking to this person. There could have been some type of a rift, but they want to um, 
they want to like make some sort of a move towards you but this is so interesting like this person is not really being real okay Sag they're not make being real okay so spirit just said they don't want to make any hasty moves like uh moves in haste like uh they don't want to make a big move and then like be left out in the cold they might think that you're going to reject them okay so this is the magician right here so this is about this person trying to manifest some sort of communication from you okay so they're waiting for you to make a move because they're fearing the loss of um of i mean rejection i should say they're fearing rejection okay so Maybe this person thinks that if they reach out to you first, you're going to reject them, okay? That's the that's the energy I'm getting, okay? So what else can you tell us about this person's spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know about this person? What are their feelings towards? If you see this, this is, this is so interesting. Like, look at the King of Wands. He is waiting for the Queen of Swords. Like, okay, come on, say what you got to say. Let's get this going. So, I just heard decision time. So, Sagittarius, you have a decision to make when it has to do with this person, okay? There's something um, that needs to be communicated here. And you don't know what to do. Okay, how does this person feel for Sagittarius? Interesting. Um, this is a very, like, uh, how should I say this, Sag? This is a very, like, uh, they want to control you, okay, in some way, okay? I'm not saying this person is, like, a narcissist. I'm not saying that. I just feel like there's something about them having some sort of control over you, okay? It's like... Even though some of you are at a distance right now, I feel like they want to control you somehow, okay? Because we got the emperor here, and that's the energy I'm getting off of this person. Like, you know what? Um, oh, I get what they're saying. So this person wants to make a move, Sagittarius, okay? Okay. But they're not making any moves right now. They're holding back. They're seeing what you're going to do. It's kind of like checkmate. What are you going to do, Sag? This, that's what this person is feeling, okay? So they could know whether they need to walk away for good, okay? How do they feel? How else do they feel for Sag? Okay. Yeah, this person is very, um, they want you, that's not a question, but I feel like, Sag, this person is questioning the way you live your lifestyle, okay? That's what I'm getting from this card intuitively because it's like they want to see you. I feel like there is passion here, but at the same time, I feel like they're, they're trying to um, see like what your move is they're they're observing you right now okay so i'm gonna see what what's the potential of this connection whoever this is okay this could be someone new also in your life sag okay these are timeless readings so spirit what is this uh the probability of this connection well okay King of Swords. That's interesting. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. So you know what's so interesting also, Sagittarius? There's there's swords here and there's wands here, okay? There's barely any cups. So I feel like there's some type of stoic energy when it comes to you and this person. It's like both of you might be holding back your feelings, okay? 
towards one another. You're just, I feel like you, you might be missing this person, okay? And they're missing you. You're missing them in your own way. I don't know how to describe it. I can't like pinpoint what I'm feeling right now. But, yeah. Okay, yeah. So this connection is going through some type of a transition, some type of a change. So it could also be somebody that you've been with for a long time, Sag. Okay, we've known them for a long time. And it's just going through a transition right now. And both of you don't know where this is going. You are finally coming out of overthinking this. Um, you've got all these fears going on. You don't know what to do about this person. It's like, what do I do about this? It's that kind of energy. And for your person, they're waiting for you to see. They're waiting on you to see what type of a move you're going to make. Like, what's your next move in order for them to know what they're going to do with their life. You know, it's that kind of an energy, okay? Yeah. This is causing both of you a lot of stress. So both of you are up at night possibly thinking about each other. Like, what do we do? You both miss each other in your own way, but there's no emotion. So both of you are on, like, emotional lockdown, I feel, okay? But we got the death card here. So this connection could go either way. And what I'm feeling here is that um, it doesn't mean the emotions are not there. Okay. It just means that both of you are avoiding the emotions. You, you feel Sagittarius. Okay. Things need to be said. I need to say whatever I need to say. So let's see. Any advice for Sagittarius? Ooh, okay. So, Sagittarius, this is so interesting. So, Spirit wants you to weigh your, um, weigh the pros and cons of this connection and what you think, if you invest in this connection, what you think it's going to bear, okay? Because I feel like some of you are delaying this decision that you're going to make with this person. But things need to be said is what they're saying, okay? But you need to know that, you know, if you um, decide to be with this person or, you know, first of all, you need to say whatever you got to say. I feel like you're holding back something to say something. But if you're going to return to this connection, okay, Sagittarius, they want you to make sure that, your wishes are going to be fulfilled with this person. If you have any doubts, you, that could be a red flag, okay? Um, that, you know what? Because um, you're, you know, here's the thing, Sad. You're going to put your time, money, energy, and love in this connection. But if you are not going to be, if this person is not emotionally available, and you're holding back your emotions because of this person, there, there's, it's not going to bear fruit. Let's just put it that way. That's what I'm hearing. So make sure that you want to, whatever you're investing in this connection, to make it go well, make sure that in your mind that this person is going to give you the same type of investment. Okay, It doesn't have to be 50-50, guys, but... It has to be at least 30. So really wait, because this person, whoever they are, I feel this person, like this, um, they have a lot of things that they focus their time and energy on, okay? Their focus is on, like, career, responsibilities, this, that. So make sure that they have time for you, okay? I'm also getting whoever you're dealing with, for some of you, very into money, which there's nothing wrong with that, but their whole focus is on money, okay? Um, that's why their emotions are not, you know, they're not, uh, how's the word for it, transparent with their emotions. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I'm going to get into the coffee cup here. Let's see what's going on. You all see that, okay? So, all right, what's going on in here? 
So Sag, um, I see, wow, I see a bull, okay? So you might be dealing with a Taurus. Um, there are some people that are going to, um, like you're going to meet some people or they're going to come over. These are new people. I feel like some of you are, are going to be a part of a bigger community. So you could be meeting people online or in some type of organization. And these people are going to be good people, okay? They're going to be good for you. Um, they're going to help you heal. It's more like you're meeting kind of your soul tribe in a sense, okay? Um, that's going to be really good for you, okay? I'm getting something on the 31st, so the 31st might be a very significant day for you, Sagittarius, okay? Um, these people, whoever they are, they're going to help you heal some way, okay? Let's see. There is also an ancestor that is helping you from the other side, someone that you lost, okay? Or it could be just a passed down loved one. It doesn't have to be an ancestor. They're watching over you. Um, and they speak through you like with birds. Okay. So if you see like certain kind of birds that you normally don't see, that's, it's the ancestor. Okay. For some of you, I see the letter M, M like Mary or M like Michael. Um, you're going to have an invitation. Like I said, for some type of a meeting or coming together, make sure you go. This is going to be really good for you. Some of you might feel like antisocial or you're being an introvert lately but i see that this is going to be good for you because it's going to like open the door to new people in your life and it's going to be people who are um affectionate like you sagittarius okay so if you're an affectionate sagittarius and you're like i have nobody has kissed me for a long time nobody has hugged me or whatever it is right i feel i see someone giving you a hug Okay, so it's like it's going to be people that are warm like you. Okay, you're going to meet those type of people, which is really good. Um, let's see. I also see a crab, so you could be dealing with a cancer, Sagittarius. Okay, this is a very specific message. I know it's not going to resonate with a lot of you, but there is a picture of somebody's ex in their home, okay? And this is not, it's not good for this person, whoever this is, because the energy of the ex is kind of like blocking um, the, the new energy, okay? So if you have a picture of your ex, maybe you forgot about it, it's somewhere like in a box or something like that. Make sure that you get rid of that. Okay, um, that will be a breakthrough for you in your love life. Okay. And I also see somebody um, getting something like uh, like uh, somebody like bringing dessert to you or something like that, Sagittarius. Oh, and the other thing also is that um, there is. Yeah, OK. This is what I want to say, Sag. After you get rid of that picture or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a picture. I'm seeing it as a picture because I'm seeing somebody's face and it's an X, okay? Um, I can't tell you what I'm seeing, like exactly. I can't describe it, but this person, their energy is not a good energy that should be kept in your home. If you want your romantic life to change, if you want it to shift for the better, you got to get rid of that energy and it could also be a keepsake. So maybe this person gave you a gift or something like it's like I'm seeing it as a picture, but it could be like a, uh, a it could even be like a book or I don't know, like with their face on it or their name. I don't know what it is or your name, Sagittarius. You need to get rid of that because as soon as you do that, everything is going to shift. 
and I'm seeing a peacock, okay? So a peacock represents, you know, partnership too. It represents love. It represents romance. It represents a lot of good things, okay? So I feel that when you get rid of that, it will shift, okay? And a lot of you, um, there's a letter G that I'm picking up on too. And there is a, um, I'm seeing a star. So some of you might be looking at a star one night and it's kind of like your spirit is going to communicate with you telepathically. So keep in mind, or see, you might see a shooting star. Keep in mind whenever you get that message to really think about like what was going through your mind at the time because that is spirit communicating with you, okay? And pay attention to birds too because birds are communicating with you with a passed on loved one. Okay, Sag, I hope you um, this resonated with you. Let me know how it resonated in the comments below. I wish you all the best and peace out.